Hey guys, my name is Shar and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about why moving abroad is the best thing for you. And say hello to you, Bailey! Hi! <laughs> okay. She is named after my favorite character from Grey's Anatomy, that's Miranda Bailey. Hello, Bailey. No! Pussy terms with baby. Hello, Bailey, baby. Bailey, baby. Huh? Hello, baby, Bailey. Ew. Hello. She doesn't want to say hello. Okay, so she's just gonna be here on my left. If it's your first time to watch my video, my name is Shar. I'm a Filipino expat here in Beijing. I've been living in Beijing for about three years now. And I really like it. I know there's a lot of news lately about China coronavirus and all about this virus news, how China has been handling the virus. But honestly, I'm calm. With that out of the way, I want to talk about something lighter. A few months ago, right about last summer, I did this audition <laughs> for a Chinese TV program. They sent me some interesting questions that I was supposed to answer in Chinese. And I failed at the audition, but I still want to share with you guys the questions they asked me because it's interesting. Plus, it has something to do with our video today. In total, they asked me about nine questions, but most of them are not really that interesting, so that we're just gonna skip over them. The first question is, what brings you to China and what is your first impression of China? Uh, if you have been following me on IG, Charmy Paula, you might have noticed a post uh, about 50 random facts about me. That's an IGTV post. I said in the video that China was not my first choice. Singapore was. The reason behind this is that my mom knows somebody in Singapore that could have helped me get a job there. But I don't know what happened. So fast forward a few years later, I made my own plan and just decided to go to China. For as long as I can remember... I've always wanted to work abroad. I never once pictured myself working in the Philippines. But then after I graduated, I did work in the Philippines for two years. And when I got enough money and I got the courage to do what I want, I went for it. Comment down below if you want to know about my journey from 5-1 Talk to a school here in Beijing. Comment down below. Why living abroad is the best thing for you. Well, it has been the best thing for me because I've gotten to know myself a lot better. Living alone made me enter the real adulthood. I need to cook for myself. I need to do my own laundry. I need to keep the house clean. I need to do all the chores by myself. I've learned how to find my own apartment, handle my own money. And I've gotten to know about the Chinese culture, which opens up my perspective in life. Now, when you're living alone, there's always gonna be like this quiet time where you don't have anything to do. So you just sit there and really think of a lot of things. So living alone gave me that time to really think, what do I want to do? What do I need? What do I need to improve on myself? Another thing that I like about living abroad is being away from your friends and family and just being you. You know, I've always wanted to do YouTube even when I was back in the Philippines but I never started it because I was so afraid what my friends would say or what would my family say so I never started it. I only started YouTube after I came to China, after I was away from them because the fear of being judged is so far away now. They're so far away for me to see them judge me. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that living abroad gives you freedom to find you. So it's kind of like soul searching. Would I ever go back to live in the Philippines? I guess not. I might not stay in China forever. I don't know what would happen in the future. But I think if ever I can't stay here in China, I would go to another country. Let's say South Korea or Thailand or Vietnam. I heard those places are great too. But I guess I would never go back to the Philippines. Because I like being free. I like doing things on my own. I like this kind of life where I can do whatever I want, I can be whoever I want, I get to decide who is Char. 
Um, a question here is: Have you ever tasted any Chinese food that you particularly like? Ah, oh, okay. So the dish that I really like is cucumber soup in soy sauce and vinegar, topped with chopped garlic. Wow. The reason why I like it is because it's so fresh. When you bite into it, the saltiness, the sourness. Plus that freshness of the cucumber, they really blend so well. So that's my favorite Chinese dish. Would you try some more special dishes? Uh, not really. <laughs> I like to go to a country to eat their food, as long as it's not that special or that weird looking. You know, I don't even like to eat pear because I feel pears are the cousins of apples with less taste. <laughs> I am. The I, you know, here in China, I've I've seen that lotus root. The first time I saw that, I thought it was like a potato with fancy cuttings done to them. And I tasted it. Oh my god, this is not potato. And then I said, "What's this? Oh, it's lotus root." What? So I don't like to try anything that is special or weird looking. But if I know what it is, if you tell me, "Hey, this is pineapple with pork inside," or something uh -huh. like that, I would try it. As long as it's not weird looking, does that make sense? I'm a picky eater, but I love food, so you can see from my face. <laughs> okay. Um, another interesting question here is: What do you think is the biggest change in China since you have lived in China for so long? This is a hard question because I've been here for only three years. Well, China has been really strict with foreigners coming to China to work, so I think that's the biggest change as a foreigner. So for foreigners wanting to come to China to work, it might be a little bit harder for you guys to come here because you know China is tightening up its policies. I think that's the biggest change. How do you feel about China? Okay, coming into China was really hard because you know I'm from the Philippines, so basically everything in the Philippines is cash based. When I first came to China, I have cash with me, and. A lot of people told me, "Why do you have cash? You can just use WeChat Pay and Alipay." But it was so hard for me to comprehend. Like, won't my money get lost, or won't won't my money be taken? Cause it's online. So what if it gets hacked or something like this? So I had all these hesitations to adapt to Chinese way of paying. But then again, after a few months or so, I got the hang of it, and it's really convenient. Everything here in China is so fast. You can literally order something online. Let's say a mop, a pad, a notebook, a pen, and it will come thirty minutes later. Or if you want something、um, a little bit like,、uh, let's say, a phone or a camera, a computer, you can order something. Like those expensive things in Jindong, and it will come, let's say, less than three days. Everything here in China is so convenient; it's so fast. That's why it's also really hard for me to go from cashless,、uh, the fast pace of China, and go back to Philippines, where you need to carry your cards, your cash, your everything with you, and you need to call Jollibee, da da da, eight seven thousand. Like, hello, I need to order something, something, something. So. Yeah, so I like China. So I guess that's all for the video today.、Um, I hope you learned something. <laughs> If ever you are in China or you're coming to China, don't come now. Come <laughs> later when the virus is all over or all this thing that's happening in the world is all good and it's safe. If ever you're coming to China, hit me up, DM me, Charmaine Paula. That's my IG or Charmaine Paula for my WeChat. You know, add me in WeChat, follow me on IG. And while you're at it, subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it to your friends. I'm very friendly. <laughs> okay, well that's all. Thank you so much for watching this video. 